Seconds to the start drivers, best of luck, best of order, and we're going to go into the countdown. And a bit of carnage in the first corner, but all getting away with it. Thunder. So, who was it leading the ground? Was Jimmy Drennan from Tim Graham? See what happens when they all get to the line. And here they all thunder through. It is Jimmy Drennan. It's another Chimera base. <laughs> So Jimmy going to lead us round, getting cheered on by his teammates. He needs to take Hybers off and wave at him as he goes through. <laughs> so Jimmy going to lead us and opening up a lead, got led for the straight himself over Tim Graham, 2.5 seconds. Only 0.9 back though to Andrew Walters, so Tim in an awkward position. Got to push on if he wants the final win. Watch his back door as well. And going wide like that is not the way to do it, but having third pin it is. Second place, they started to push on. Gonna take two tenths out of him. That can't close that gap back down. 2.8. Mark Maney, oh. if you are free, can you come and see me in commentary corner, please? Oh. Mark Our leaders going up and through towards the banking. Oh, I'm not sure if our leaders at a moment. I'm just gonna check for the computer. And indeed, Tim Graham to the point, but he's wearing Jimmy Drennan like a backpack as they come past me. Drennan looking left and right, that Chimera car looking super stable as I say that. Drennan going to get it seven shades of wrong. Marshalling there was fantastic, sir, keeping him in the game. But he's now got a boatload of time to catch up. The gap is less than half a second. It is now going to be... Wait for these guys to come through. There goes our leader. There goes second now. Three seconds to Drennan with some work to do if he wants to bring this win. And that's going to help him. Andy Walters has just binned it. Gives him a mistake worth of not hurrying. He can now push on and start to slow down on our leader. And I know he's got some good pace in that car. He's got one of the best laps of the race by about four tenths. So something tells me, Tim Graham not going to have this all his own way with one last minute's on the clock, and the gap is falling. Jimmy Drennan takes a second out of him in that race, that alone. Jimmy is on fire. And up and over the centre rhythm section, through the Grand Canyon, through the switchbacks, looking every bit stable, and the gap is coming down. Our leader having a bobble compound in that and it is a whole new day as these two come out onto the straight together. Bill Barlow and Stephen Lander cheering them both on like they've got pom-poms. Yeah, you could have left the um, uh, chair leader out this off this time, guys. <laughs> and our leader's going up and through the centre section. Oh, Jimmy going to get it on. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. 
Should not be fixing cars. Should be last in your spot. That gap there, all of that's point seven eight. And you have got 30 seconds on the clock with the length of the straight. So Jimmy just got to throw everything at it. He's still got a little bit of time in hand. He's got two and a half seconds over Danny Hughes Proctor. Oh, no, that's closed. No. Oh, oh, I'm filming. You're going to have that on camera that you said that. Sorry, Tim's going to get it wrong. Jimmy's going to be given a bit of a gift horse with 10 seconds off the clock. These two crossing the line for the final lap. So, thank you, Andrew. Great. You have second place and third and fourth with you soon. Jimmy going up and through the rhythm section, just got to bring it home, got a two second lead. Can afford to take it slightly easy, but not too easy. Tim Graham going to throw everything at it, including the King King Seek if he wants a chance. But I'm going to say your leader is going to cross the line and take the win. It is Jimmy.